think I'm going to need to Google his costume. <laughs> I was thinking the one thing I, I don't know if it's a regret, <clears throat> one thing I didn't do is like he had these tendrils that kind of did stuff, but I should have come up with like a signature, like, uh, you know, like Wolverine has his three claws popped out and he has his arms down. It's kind of a signature look. Uh, his tendrils kind of just went everywhere, but now I'm like wondering if there sh should have been this weird pattern that he created and so that every time you saw that pattern, you would know it was him specifically. Ren Raven is in, in the house. Uh, who's excited to see Ren, R Ren Elephant uh, cosplaying as Raven at San Diego Comic Con? Activity for, yeah, yeah. Comedy, uh, yeah. What used to pass as comedy, uh, very, it's sort of under assault these, these days. A lot of comedians have kind of noted that. Um, you know, I think he moves at a speed which belies his, his, uh, his, his, his mass. I like that too. So many cosplay options. If I'm gonna get to all the uh, sketches I want to do today. Four way flashers responsible for the Kleenex emote. Eight months. Congrats, man. Man, has it already been eight months? That has gone by quickly, hasn't it? Jira, I have not. The 
birds are back. <clears throat> Simply amazing. Chat or the sketch? Triceps? What are we talking about? Tell this character was created in the 90s, this heavy metal headband with a ponytail. This, this is 9 by 12 paper. It fits nicely into the uh, camera frame. It's like the feature's a little off structure, which I kind of like. Um, it's almost like he's... Uh, deformed a little bit, structurally, physically. All these tendrils in the foreground, but uh, I don't know if that's where I'm going to have them be in the final drawing. Got to make sure I do all the structure here first, get his costume in the right spot. His 16 pack.
as you can see, it's also kind of this also is taking on a sketchy quality, kind of like the Catwoman, as I kind of figure out where things are going. I don't want to fully commit to any kind of line. But I also know that once I put in the black shadows with the ink, there's a lot of kind of redrawing or drawing or kind of restructuring of the figure that I can do at that point. So I'm actually just drawing kind of bits and pieces of him. One of the mods want to tell me, uh, are we what subcategory are we at this week? Take a second look in Discord. We keep track of it. It's all the sketches too, from the very first stream. Twenty-five. All right. The way I was envisioning this, there's going to be a lot of kind of chunky black shadows in the core area here after I
It's a fun character to ink because um, it's kind of albino white skin, so you can really contrast that against the dark black red uh, of his costume. So if I put his legs mostly in shadow like this, um, you'll see that the white skin of his really will pop out of these areas. All right. So I go in here and ink his legs and then his boots. Then I use white out to kind of pop out the fins from the background shadows. <coughs> To the darkness. I use white out to kind of pop out that tendril, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. That's the cross arm body ink technique right there. You guys just saw. It's like a level three pro move. Resubscribe eight last eight months. Awesome. I think we're doing something different with kind of the tendrils. Um, before it just kind of came out of like a it's almost like, um, you know, how Wolverine had those three little metal. Um, things that they look kind of like missile silos or whatever on the top part of his arm. What if I did something a little more organic so you see rather than having kind of a metal encapsulation just sort of some sort of texture veins, tendons, something down here. Just kind of reimagine the costume and the design just a little bit. vibe to it, uh, kind of very big rounded uh, volume, volume metric, if that's a word, shapes.
just having fun with a little brush action here. I'll tell you that Streamlab is, uh, it is a little, what's that one sword? Inconsistent. Sometimes it makes a, the, the alert sound and I hear it, and a lot of times, definitely, red sun, yes. So I feel like it should be down here. What we can do is to make it more symmetrical. We can add like an under pad like. Good to see you. All right, I'm gonna tr do the drawing that I need to draw first. Man, that puppy is just loud. So I'm going to probably do this uh, Omega Red as the giveaway. So the Catwoman will be a silent auction. For those of you that um, don't know, I think the mods will give you information on how to do that. Basically send a, a whisper, which is the Twitch equivalent of a direct message to myself. Just put Catwoman, kind of what your highest bid amount is. Put it all in the same line if you could. And then just kind of review it. Bid, uh, it's all done kind of anonymous, anonymously. Uh, but I will uh, I'd sort of announce kind of the high bid so that those of you kind of keeping track will know what it went for.
getting to that time where I gotta split here very shortly. And as some of you guys have noticed, uh, even after I finish streaming, um, before I post the artwork up onto um, social, I'll go in and tweak it. Maybe make some final kind of adjustments, white out, that kind of thing. it's colored you know but I'll go in like with this like I'll do this I'll go in and I'll just tighten this up so the, this will look pretty decent I think for the sub 10 person that wins all right so just a kind of it's just tightening up things like this that basically and then like maybe rendering in here Etc. 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 But really, for the purposes of the stream, you get the gist of it, right? So I'll just pop in some more details. So someone's gonna win that. <laughs> 